Thank you for staying with us here at Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. During the break, uh, Jackie Manconi from Awaken America and Carol Davis from West Suburban Patriots, Jack Roser, our founder, and myself, we're having this extended conversation about roles and family. Mm -hmm. But ladies, let's get back to the, the, the reason and what you are doing to preserve and let, take let me, back uh, America. Let me uh, just uh, get back to this family thing a little bit. Uh, this, this guy Obama has come along with Obamacare, and it's a terrible trap. Uh, and it's, incidentally, Obamacare, that's not spelled with a C, that's spelled with a K. Mm -hmm. Obamacare, uh, the government's going to teach you to be cared for. But the trouble with all of that is that uh, uh, that guy stood up and he said, we have to have this government plan of Obamacare because there's so many people out there that don't have insurance and they don't have medical care and they aren't getting it so the government's got to provide it. Uh, that was a challenge to me. In short order, I got a list of 18 different ways you can get medical care without the stinking federal government. 18 different ways. There's all kinds of ways. You might have been a soldier and you have a right uh, to medical care and that's okay. You know, you coughed up a uh, part of your life and you maybe uh, stop the bullet. Uh, that's, that's good. You've got the, uh, if you want government care, you've got the county there. Uh, you also got uh, maybe the, the Jewish child, uh, child, Children's Hospital on the west side. Catholic that's no Charity. government mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. You've got you, uh, something uh, like 45% uh, of the medical care in the whole country is provided in Catholic connected hospitals. Uh, there are Lutheran hospitals, Jewish hospitals. Those are not Obamacare places. Uh, they're all places doing things. You've got um, all these people are working, my own company. Uh, we have uh, medical care for people uh, of all kinds. I got a list of, uh, my memory's not great, or I'd bore you to death with the 18 different ways we can get medical care without that stinking Obama taking our money and telling us who's going to take care of your ailment of today. I don't want a bureaucrat telling me how I'm going to be cured of something. To hell with him. But then how's he going to control you, Jack, if he doesn't do it that way? Don't uh -huh. you understand? It's all about control. Yes, it's it is. It's not about health care. It's about it's not controlling about health care. If you want to know something about health care, uh, go to Google. <laughs> Uh, I don't care if it's uh, cancer or a sniffle. Uh, there's uh, a lot of truth on there of uh, what your sawbones uh, ought to know when you finally go to them because you're, you're going to know a good part about what's available, and it ain't Obamacare. Well, you got to you got to wait to see the other shoe that's going to drop. Oh, yeah. Starting in 2013, anybody. You talk about the housing market being in a slump. Anybody that sells their home, 13% of that sale is going to the federal government to cover Obamacare. The Supreme Court will repeal it. The Supreme Court, I believe, will repeal it. But also, elections have consequences. And ladies, what are you doing to preserve the elections? We have a few minutes. If you would give me two minutes of what, what you've done and what you plan to do for 2012. Uh, my goal, actually, for 2012 is going to be to, um, I want to preserve what we won in 2010 all the congressional districts within our geographical area. We got to keep them in, we got, I mean, we saw this coming when Quinn won the election, that they were going to change our boundaries and redistrict. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, mm -hmm. our organization started a new chapter in the Schomburg area, mm -hmm. which is heavily Democratic in the 8th, which is going to kind of come over to your area too right now because the it's eighth in the congressional that's the eighth congressional that's, we've got to get joe, joe walsh, walsh. reelected absolutely right. mm -hmm. we worked hard to to get that district from uh, melissa beam and we got to make sure we keep it and that's why caroline and i decided we were going to do open a chapter in schomburg which is growing now and that's going to bring me really a lot into your area right. too, which we're right. going to have to start working very close together yeah. now. And, yeah. and what else? What else? You want to do the federal? Then I want, we we're going to look at the local level. We've got to like Jazz Six six plus six minus one. Mm -hmm. We have got to make sure that we. That's the whole state. We have got to make sure that our state. In that Schomburg district, who who are you looking at? Uh, John Lawson. John Lawson and um, Ramiro. Yeah, yeah. Juarez. Juarez Ramiro, right. And what's the other gentleman's name? Uh, the, the gentleman with the... Jim O'Donnell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
And that's who we're going to be working for. We have some wonderful state. candidates running. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Jim Edwards uh, at our uh, Republican uh, Renaissance PAC has been vetting uh, people all over the state uh, with a, a group of about 50 that are that are, are essential to getting this six plus six in the House and Senate. Well, uh, we got to do that. Got to do it. And uh, we've been vetting it uh, uh, over the whole state. And uh, listen, the Tea Party people are have won things that that was practically all Tea Party that won with Walsh in various degrees. The Tea Party people have reduced the cost of politics in Illinois, certainly nationwide. Uh, the, the press doesn't get it, but the Tea Party is very powerful, and uh, they're providing a lot of people on the ground to do it. It's reduced the cost of politics, but it still takes a considerable amount of money. This coming election, the Democrats are going to be loaded with money, okay. not only with Obama, yes, but with absolutely. all of the unions well, are going to spill millions and millions sure. and millions sure. into the politics. Yeah, they want to maintain right. power. With the ground yeah, game of, of the Tea Party people mm -hmm. and with uh, people that do have any kind of money from $10 to a million dollars, they better get in there and save their country before these guys finish taking it away from us. Well, That's our right. long term, our goal for 2012, and Carolyn and I have discussed this, is we need to work collaboratively with any group, individual, organization, or campaign that want to achieve what we want to achieve and make it happen. And that's what, that's going forward, that's what we're going to do. And I know, Carol Davis, you've done a lot with the 200, and I know you guys are organizing, and I want to hear a little bit more about it. And I know, Jackie, you're having an event in Schomburg, a viewing party for Joe Walsh. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about invited. that after the break. Everyone's <laughs> invited. We'll be right back after the break.